in the software industry. So I have joined uh, Downtown Coders uh, from last, like uh, in November, I guess. So uh, from that time, I have been working uh, on SQL and uh, studying SQL and Tableau. So as of now, it's a good experience. So let's see with the project knowledge. I hope with the project knowledge, uh, I'll get a good exposure, like the actual uh, thing, how does it works actually. So let's hope for the best. Awesome. Thank you, Neha. So, uh, right. So, Neha, just to give you a little bit of an overview, uh, uh, the thing is that uh, the learning of Tableau and SQL and the implementation thing is a little bit different. Okay. Uh, it's for everyone. So, learning is like we have learned the base. Our base is now very strong. Now, everything will be on the implementation means how you, you need to develop your entire thought process before building mm -hmm. anything, why you are doing it, uh, how that is required to be done. And uh, according to the requirements, how you need to utilize Tableau is what we are gonna uh, learn in this entire Tableau project, okay? So this will give you a real-time exposure working like a Tableau developer, thinking like a Tableau developer and executing like a Tableau developer, okay? So okay. this uh, this project exposure will be really great for everyone. Okay, we have uh, spent hours and hours to develop these projects uh, according to the industry standards. Okay, uh, one thing guys, you need to remember that Tableau developers job is not just merely creation of dashboards. Okay, dashboard is a part of it. You are from the data analytics team. So that means you need to work a lot on the data. When a data comes to you, you will not just start building a dashboard. You need to analyze the data, understand the data at first. Once you understand the data, then only you would be able to represent all the informations through some cool visualizations, which will help the business to grow. Okay. So your key elements, the KPIs are very, very important whenever you will be developing your dashboard and you need to ensure that whatever things that you develop should have some bright numbers attached to it. Because if your numbers are incorrect, even though if you create a cool visualization, it has got no meaning to the uh, business, okay? So as Tableau developer, always generate that thought process in, itself, uh, in yourself that I would be working on the data, okay? So my, I need to have more understanding and sound knowledge on data besides Tableau, okay? Tableau is just a front end. Your entire backend is the calculations that you are doing in Tableau and how you are utilizing any database that you had been working. So my request for you, everyone would be start practicing SQL. If you have, if you're not good in SQL, please ensure that from today itself, you start, take any playlist. There are a lot of playlists that are available on YouTube. Take any playlist and just watch the videos in depth. Okay. And in depth, thorough knowledge of SQL will be required to exit in this story. Okay. We will be working on SQL as well in this, in our projects. It is not necessary, but uh, if you want to have a very good hands-on, you can do that. I'll tell you how that is required to be done. Uh, but if you think that you, uh, SQL is not installed or I'm not very good uh, with SQL, you can avoid it, but uh, you can do that as well. And just to set the expectation of this entire module, uh, this is a Tableau project, okay? Uh, in the industry, whenever you will be working as a team with the developers, whenever you would be joining in a call, I'll request everyone to kindly switch on your videos, okay? Uh, if you had not been doing that uh, earlier, I will request we need to change that habit, okay? Whenever you will be joining in my sessions, from first to last, you need to keep your videos switched on because, see, this, this is not a Tableau project that you are working. Uh, it is, I am constantly checking the confidence level when you are speaking as well, okay? Because during your interview, this is very important that how confidently you are speaking, whenever you are showing your screen, the navigations that you are doing, how confidently you are moving from one part to the other. And uh, also whenever you are talking, that level of confidence should be reflected through your eyes, through your hand gestures and your communication also. Okay, so I'll be judging you in multiple aspects throughout this entire module so that 
uh, end to end when you will be uh, completing this project module you need to be very very confident with whatever work that you have done okay so that will be my request uh, i won't force everyone but it it is a mandate whenever you will be joining on the sessions please join in your videos i know it's quite early in the morning we might be very sleepy uh, but still if i can do it then definitely i think you can also uh, so awesome uh, so i will give you a brief overview of what is happening in the market okay uh, before i start uh, sharing my screen and sh telling you talking about the project and also the agile i'll come to that as well just give me 2 minutes i'll just fill my water bottle before i start okay thank you okay so let's talk a little bit about the market what is happening in the market i know many of you might be thinking that tableau developers profile is easy non technical role dra just drag and drop things are done but situation is a little bit different okay though the tool might look very easy uh, maybe on various social media platforms it has been explained in that way that just do a drag and drop things will be ready for you however things are little bit different okay uh, requirement comes in uh, very strong nowadays okay earlier what used to happen the projects that we had were like support and maintenance kind of role wherein the dashboards and the logics had already been designed by the developers from uh, us uk or outside the country maybe people from india as well uh, but the projects are already developed now in that already developed projects there are few enhancements that are required to be done and then only that specific requirement would be sent to you and you had to make only those certain kind of changes as a tableau developer i had also been working in that these kinds of requests in my initial years so things were very easy at that time we used to think acha it's just drag and drop make some certain changes okay this field name has got changed i just need have to replace this field or okay it has been asked that from now this chart has to be replaced with some different chart only those kind of changes were done and things were very easy but now the entire development has come through india means in uh, offshore i'll say more than the onshore it's more into the offshore where the entire development is required to be done from the scratch that means from the requirement gathering phase till the deployment of the reports onto the server you are the sole tableau developer and earlier what happened the industry used to understand that this is a work of suppose say four people so people used to hire a lot lot many uh, uh, students or candidates in bulk industry used to hire and four or five or even more than that uh, more than five tableau developers are working on a certain project in a support profile as well but now industry have understood that so many people are not required in a project and here in comes the main problem they have eliminated the resources they have started eliminating resources and they are just keeping one tableau developer in a project so that means whenever you will be going and working in the industry if you you are lucky if you are getting multiple developers but most in most cases it will be just one tableau developer in a project that means you would be working at a, as an individual contributor and there are no openings for freshers in this domain that means what they are looking for people who have got good hands on practice with this tool and would be able to take the right decision at the right time so what has happened in this since the market has got changed so a lot of pressure has come on the tableau developers because most of the tableau developers that are there in the market are showing fake experience or are telling that i have worked in the tableau domain actually they haven't and then when that person is brought into the industry and are given the responsibility of an entire project they do not have anyone to ask their concern because the project managers are of the opinion that this this person is already aware of how things are working in the tableau domain but the reality is only you and me is aware of that you are not a tab real tableau developer okay so taking the right decisions asking the right questions proving in the correct way and getting the information and at the end collecting all the informations and representing all the data through a dashboard becomes a very very difficult task okay understanding the data becomes sometimes a very heavy challenge so that is the reason nowadays market has become very very 
uh, what should I say, competitive and strict. That means they are not looking for people who is just aware of some of the elements of Tableau. They are asking questions like scenario based. If this happens, how will you handle? This is a problem statement. Solve it right away and tell me how things are required to be done. Tell me month on month, current year, previous year, how things are happening. Create a dynamic parameter. How performance optimization you are doing on the uh, on the dashboards that you had been working. So there are a lot of elements that have come right now, which are quite complex. So in order to uh, cater to the needs of the industry, we need to learn in a very in much more advanced level rather than elementary level. So just merely following some project on social media won't help you because they have all talked about dashboards. Some nice designs, cool uh, color elements, and but the reality is different. The reality is data. Okay, so dashboard and data, though both are communicating to each other, but things are handled in a different way in the industry. Okay, so in this entire project module, you can set an expectation that we are going to learn everything very advanced. Okay, so if you are learning advanced things, the only thing that I require is for you guys to invest more time. Okay, so if you had been, if you are working, if you are non-working, how you need to uh, segregate your time. If you are non-working, then you need to think that this is your work from now onwards. So out of that eight hours of login that we generally do in our office works, you need to work eight hours on this, not on this project, but on your learnings as well. So the learning is divided into three phases, SQL, Tableau, and the project. So you have to equally distribute the time between these three. Between these three. So it, if it is eight hours, then three hours on SQL, two hours on Tableau project, and the remaining three hours on Tableau learning. Okay, learning means in depth of Tableau, scenario based questions from wherever you get whatever material you need to practice. So in this way, you need to segregate your time. And I'm very sure people who are not working would be able to get eight hours. And that is something you need to give. Okay. For this next one month, please give that. I will ensure that you will crack packages more than 15 LPA. In India and people who are staying outside will be getting packages like 90 lakhs or 1 CR in the Indian market if you want to. Okay. It, it is easy to crack. We have done it in the past. And 95% uh, of, of, of my students get placed. So I am very confident with whatever module that I have created. So, but you need to practice in the right way, okay? I can give you all the knowledge, but at the end of the day, you need to uh, showcase all those knowledge during the time of your interview. That is very important, okay? And people who are working. So people who are working, you might be thinking that I won't get eight hours of time. How will I segregate my time? You will get at least three hours. In your entire 24 hours, you will get at least three hours. So in this three hours, one hour will be Tableau project, one hour will be SQL and one hour will be Tableau learning. Okay, so you have to give three hours of your busy schedule to your learnings so that you can excel in this domain within the next one to one and a half months. Okay, if you keep things pending, what will happen? You will slowly lose interest and uh, then you, everything will come on your shoulders at one go and you will be confused where to start, where to end. So I do not want that situation to happen. For that reason, the first thing that I'm talking is about how you need to uh, invest your time in this sector of the business. Okay. Any questions so far? Okay. And another thing, no question is a silly question. Okay. You might be thinking, are I kya puchu? So do not think like that, okay? Whatever questions you have in your mind, please do ask according to, uh, to, my, to the best of my knowledge, I will try to respond to your questions and try to give you the right answers, okay? But do not keep the questions with yourself, okay? Sir, oh. I have a question. Yes, Neha. Sir, how difficult it is like for a non-technical background person to crack an interview? Like I'm... Um, trying to get everything like every knowledge uh, regarding the SQL or Tableau but mm -hmm. uh, just now you said like uh, the market is little tight or competitive mm -hmm. 
Hmm. So, uh, and uh, with this uh, project knowledge, I'll be like uh, getting two, three, maybe five to six years of uh, experience kind of mm -hmm. with this project. But is it is it really difficult for a non-technical background person? Like how I, I need to... See, yeah. if you have not been learning, one, is, uh, one thing you need to understand that knowledge is the key. If you have the right knowledge... Even if it is Google, you would be able to crack. So the only thing that we need to be very, very, uh, what should I say? Uh, you need to understand that the most, most important thing is knowledge. So if I have to address your question, then for a non-technical person, it is difficult to just learn the tool from any social media content. And if, the, if you go for an interview, you won't be able to crack because you don't know the industry. But if you know the industry very well, then whatever questions they might ask you, you will speak with a lot of confidence. Because as a recruiter, when, when I go for interviews and when I uh, hire people, I only see how confidently that person is speaking. If I give a scenario, it is always not the right answer that I'm expecting. It is the right approach. Because I need to understand that if I hire this person, if I'm giving that person more than 15 LPA maybe, then whatever scenario I, I, I would be giving to this person, he should be able to crack. If not on that day, maybe in the next day. Okay. So that is the level of confidence that we need. So to get to that level, you need to know the industry really well and work accordingly. So in this module, as you said, that you will be gaining an exposure like a five to six years experience. Five to six is a lot. And the complications. Yeah, like you... uh, if I'm getting at least one or two years of experience also to get into this industry, I would be happy. Like I'm not really looking mm. for anything like I want a five years but of experience. But you will be getting five to six years of experience. <laughs> I just want already. to get into this industry. If they want to hire a fresher also as a fresher, I would love to. I just want to get into this uh, software industry. Right. As a fresher, you won't get a job in the BI domain, <laughs> neither in Power uh, yeah. BI or in Tableau. Okay, nor in SQL uh -huh. as well. So we need to showcase some experience. Whatever experience you have, non-technical experience, technical experience, or any experience, we will be showcasing that and we'll be going in the industry. But and how my non-technical experience will count? They 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 won't, I, I don't think so, they won't consider. Who told you? I will tell you how things are required to be done. Is it? Okay. How <laughs> verifications are done, how things are required to be done. I am expert in that. So... <laughs> You don't have to worry. Okay. Okay. okay I trust so, you. You're yep. different as compared to other Tableau developers. And the experience that you will have through this module that I have developed will be like a five to six years experience only. So do not set your expectation like one to two years of exposure you will be getting in this module. It's very hardcore knowledge that you will get. And this knowledge I have gained in the industry, I am giving it to you. Okay. So in future, you can pass on this knowledge to your uh, friends or family whenever if you want to be a trainer. Okay? okay. So this knowledge is required to be passed on. Otherwise, what will happen? People will be struggling. And I don't like to see people when they struggle. Okay. So whatever knowledge that you will be getting right now, it is what I have learned in the industry and I have involved a lot of things. Okay. So initially, you might be feeling difficult to your for your brain to process. But... After three days, after three to four days, you will see things will become normalized. Okay.